From the moment he stepped foot in the United States, Pope Francis captured the nation's attention. Whether it was his bold statements about family life or the car he traveled in, the Pope's first trip to the U.S. was filled with meaning. Here are the eight most powerful moments. When Pope Francis landed in Washington, he surprised many by stepping into a black Fiat 500L. It was a small gesture, but in a city where leaders typically travel inside limousines or big SUVs, it made a big impression on the American public. Pope Francis covered lots of ground in his speech to Congress, but the central theme of his address was elegant in its simplicity. When he spoke of the Golden Rule, it received more applause than almost any other moment in his speech. We need to avoid a common temptation nigh awaits to discard whatever proves troublesome. Let us remember the golden rule. Do unto others as you Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. While in Washington, a five-year-old girl whose parents faced deportation broke through security to meet Pope Francis. She handed him a t-shirt and a letter expressing hope that people like her parents can remain in the United States. Like his speech to Congress, the Pope covered a wide range of issues when he addressed the UN General Assembly. He explained how his view of environmental care is linked to his position on social issues. Por eso, la defensa del ambiente y la lucha contra la exclusión exigen el reconocimiento de una ley moral inscrita en la propia naturaleza humana, que comprende la distinción natural entre hombre y mujer y el absoluto respeto de la vida in todas sus etapas y dimension. Toward the end of the trip, the Pope noted that he was incredibly moved by his visit to the 9-11 memorial. While there, he explained how goodness eventually overcame evil. Este lugar de muerte this se place of death also is transformed in a place for life, salvadas. saved Entonces, lives a song that leads us to affirm that life will always triumph over the prophets of destruction, over death, and good will always win over bad reconciliation and unity will prevail over hate and division. Speaking at the World Meeting of Families, Pope Francis set down his speech and gave off-the-cuff remarks about family life. He said that families quarrel, but they're filled with love. Dios siempre golpea las puertas de los corazones. God plans that so that our hearts be opened. Le gusta hacerlo. He likes to bring his love to open hearts. Le sale de adentro. It comes out from him. Pero saben qué es lo que más le gusta? Do you know what he likes most? Golpear las puertas de las familias. To knock on the doors of families. Encontrar las familias unidas. And to find the families. Encontrar las familias que se quieren. Who love each other. Encontrar las familias que hacen crecer a sus hijos families y los educan. Who bring up their children. Y que los llevan to grow adelante. And help them move forward. Before addressing American bishops in Philadelphia, Pope Francis met with five survivors of sexual abuse. Some suffered at the hands of priests, others family members or teachers. He told the bishops about his experience. Continúa abrumándome la vergüenza de que personas que tenían a su cargo el tierno cuidado de esos pequeños les violaran y les causaran graves daños. Lo lamento profundamente Dios llora. When the Pope went to a large prison inside Philadelphia, he took the time to greet every prisoner, one by one. In his speech, he said it was a lie that people cannot change. 
Miremos a Jesús que nos lava los pies. Él es el camino, la verdad y la vida, que viene a sacarnos de la mentira de creer que nadie puede cambiar. La mentira de creer que nadie puede cambiar. Quiere que volvamos a los caminos, a la vida, sintiendo que tenemos una misión. Que este tiempo de reclusión nunca ha sido y nunca será sinónimo de expulsión.